Throughout my time in Nairobi, I've mainly explored the Westlands division of the city for obvious reasons. Perceived safety, abundance of shopping malls, restaurants, and high-end buildings. However, upon receiving this DM from a fellow subscriber, I instantly became intrigued about Eastlands. So I asked around and most of my friends told me that I shouldn't go, there's nothing to see there, and that I would need a bodyguard. <laughs> That's when I knew I had to go there and have my own experience. I decided to sit down and do my research and I found this very cool looking place called Pipeline. Known by the locals as a concrete slum, housing around 100,000 inhabitants in tall buildings with dozens of single rooms per floor, many residents here have to share a bathroom and take turns to wash and dry their clothes. Welcome to Pipeline, one of the most densely populated areas in Nairobi. Let's walk around and see what's inside. Bakasi, where Pipeline is located, was ranked as the most densely populated area in Kenya by the KNBS in 2019. It is conveniently located close to the airport, central Nairobi, and factories where most of the residents work. I was very curious to have a solid picture of how people live inside these buildings. So one of my guide's friends allowed us to visit his studio. Hey, there's more sun than And this is basically it. Enough space for a big bed, some sofas, a small kitchen, a self-contained bathroom. In other buildings, each floor shares a common bathroom. Tall buildings in close proximity result in limited natural light for most units. It also results in competition for space to dry clothes, which is something residents take turns to do. I want to know more from the locals here, from the residents. What do they think about life at Pipeline in Bakasi? So what do you do for a living? Everybody work. What is the best thing about living in Pipeline? Everything is, is nice. Ah. Yeah, everything is good. <laughs> everything is perfect. Yeah. Do you ever want to move out of Pipeline and move to West Nairobi? Actually, I don't want to move to any place because I was in Qatar. To Doha. I was in there Qatar? For, yeah, I was there for seven months. I decided to come to Kenya. So I don't want to go anywhere else. So going to Doha made you realize that Kenya is the best place? Yeah. So you don't want to go to United States, nothing? I don't want to go. If maybe I'll move from here, maybe going home, then come back. Alas. Joe, what do you do for a living? I own a movie shop and a phone repair shop. And what do you like about living in Pipeline? <laughs> in Pipeline, eh? somehow cheap. You have to hustle. But we love it. Do you ever dream of moving to a different area of Nairobi? Uh, no, no, no. I love here. I love. You want to live here forever? Maybe another part of this country. So you wouldn't move to another area of Nairobi. You just move to another part. Yeah, yeah. Of Kenya. Yes, of Kenya. <laughs> They are very hard. It's hard, it's soft. Y'all are making fun of me. <laughs> Guys, this is George, our pipeline guide for the day. He's also a content creator. I'll leave his channel on the description box. George, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. So tell us, what do you do for a living? I have an online shop. I sell skating equipment from the skating shoes, helmet, protective gears. I offer skating lesson. And how's life in Pipeline? Uh, very affordable. I'll say that. For us who stay here, we don't complain. And what is the things that you think should improve in Pipeline? Uh, I think the road. They are working on that, but it's taking too long. I think by the time they're building this road, I'll be out of here. Yeah. Because I cannot book an Uber from here, you'll not come. I'll tell you, uh, maybe try tractor. Oh my God, that is such a shame. That's what they used to say before, because <laughs> of the mud and of everything. The mud, yes. yeah. Do you feel safe living here? Because many people would see and be like, ooh, there must be so many criminality, like da, da, da. But then everyone says it's quite safe. Why do you think that is? First of all, it's a mindset. Mm. The same way people think Westland is the, Westlands is the best area. It's not. 
It's not because uh not <laughs> shade to Westlanders. Ah <laughs> uh, no no sorry sorry. Okay sorry. no shade no, yeah, no shade no shade. shade. <laughs> I think it's mindset mm. because once you've 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 been here for like few hours yeah. and you've seen the energy. Everyone is just minding their business. Yes. It's like a community. It's like, like a community. If you are robbed here, maybe it was a bad It was man. unlucky. It, yeah, I don't think you are from this side. <laughs> Guys, so I found Bob. He's a resident of the pipeline area and he wants to remain anonymous. Bob, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a technical engineer. I did electrical engineering. So that's what I really practice. And how is life in pipeline? Do you enjoy living here? Yeah, I can say it's quite amazing, the humanity and everything, but uh, the congestion is not an easy thing, especially for some of us that came from less populated areas to come here and work. In this floor, do you share a bathroom or? Yeah, sure, we share one bathroom for the many houses that are on this floor. And how is it when it comes to, you know, cleaning and organizing? The people that live on that floor, you can take on the... Uh, the tanks in washing it and making sure it's clean. Also the same for the toilets, uh, which I also shared. You take turns in washing them and making them that are clean for use for all of you. Should I be trading in the internet? No, you BBC won't. Let trading. me show you. <laughs> I'm not from none of that. Let yeah. me show you. So after a few hours of filming, seeing that studio, walking around, it quickly came to me that this is a good place to live, especially for those with a lower income who are maybe starting life in Nairobi. Pipeline is really good. No wonder why it's densely populated. In those buildings, a studio goes for about 4,000 shillings with a shared bathroom and 6,000 shillings with a private bathroom. That is basically $50 for rent or less. Now you have a roof over your head and privacy. So one can have a dignified life making $200 a month or even less depending on the budget and I say dignified life because the place felt safe that's one of the most important things is feeling safe according to Mike Oweya in this article for Citizen Digital residents often attribute its safety status to the fact that most of its original inhabitants are from the neighboring Machakos County Kambas who love a peaceful coexistence the only group I felt bad for were the children. There are no recreational areas for children to play, run, kick a ball. That is something that can be very detrimental for their mental and physical development. So I pray that this issue gets solved very, very soon. And I hope they build a place in the area where children can go and be children and socialize with other children. Exploring this less privileged area of Eastlands was a very eye-opening and positive experience. My favorite part was being able to see how, despite some issues with basic needs, the residents are very, very happy. How much is the dog? Eight thousand. What's your name? What's your name? What's the name of the dog? Pretty, pretty, pretty like you. Thank you. Pretty like you. <laughs> Why do every tourist I meet have dirty shoes? And con white converse. Hey. No, listen. Uh -huh. Tourists walk a lot. Okay. So I'm walking. My 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 converse are white. Okay. I have to walk a lot, and I'm not gonna wash Why? every day. Why? Because it's not gonna dry, and then what am I gonna wear tomorrow if I if I'm washing my no shoes? Tourists are poor. You can't afford two shoes. You wash one, you get another one. Or why don't you get a black shoe? Because all tourists have white converses. The white converses go well with all the clothes. Yeah. Get an Air Force, a white, a black Air Force you can. Air, Force are, Air Forces are too hot. <laughs> and I saw a TikTok that mm -hmm. said that Nairobi's, in Nairobi, if your shoes are dirty, you are poor. Because you Kenyans are always washing your shoes. I saw a TikTok that said that. And then I looked at my converse, I was like, yeah. They must think I'm poor. It's okay. You can think I'm poor. It's okay. Homeless. It's then, okay, then homeless. also, like I know the the robbers, they won't come for me because they look at my shoes. Ah, this girl doesn't have anything. Strategy, strategy, strategy. No comment. Okay, no comment. <laughs> Our day is ending. Evening is coming, which means this place is about to become crowded and jammed with people. Everyone is coming back from their jobs. The kids are coming back from school. So this is the perfect time to end this video. It's been so much fun exploring Pipeline in Bakasi. I hope you guys enjoyed everything we showed. And I'll see you on the next one.
Online is a beautiful, beautiful community, and I pray it continues to prosper. Have you visited Pipeline? Would you live in Pipeline? Let me know in the comments. Lastly, guys, I have an announcement to make. Since the beginning of this channel, many of you have always asked me how you could donate for the channel. And I never took the time to figure that out because I've always been happy to fund my own videos and I still am. However, some of my content creator friends have made me aware that it's okay to accept donations from those of you who genuinely want to contribute to the content. It's like accepting a gift. So there are two ways in which you can donate, one of which is M-Pesa. I'm going to leave the information on the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.